be having lots of lovely stuff. We're going to have... Establish my covenant with you. Go to the world and preach. The like build an ark like a that God is all knowing. That means he knows everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything he knows tomorrow. An ark. Like I'm so telling silly. you, like you're, you're so silly. out. Like you're so guess a, what? You know, you just made all the same. Right? So and never feel pressure to do the wrong thing. Never feel like you have to follow others. Never feel boys and girls welcome back to the solid rock children's church how are you doing how is going back to school i hope you're not finding it too hard you know what boys and girls we are praying for you we are praying that god will preserve you and that god will preserve your teachers as well and that god will preserve you know all your friends in jesus name don't be afraid but make sure that you listen to your teachers okay Make sure you keep, you know, the social distancing. Make sure that you, you know, adhere to every uh, precaution that your school is going to set and is going to put in place. God bless you. Today we have a lineup of activities. Uh, we have the worship time. We have the memory verse. We have our quizzes. And then we have the lesson. And don't forget, boys and girls, that we have, always have our homework at the end of the program. So make sure you stay tuned make sure that you finish the program so that you'll be able to get yourself a chance to win you know a prize or a trick god bless you boys and girls and today's lesson is taken from the book of matthew matthew chapter 15. so when you get a chance make sure boys and girls you go through you know that lesson it's a very interesting one i will see you at the lesson boys and girls god bless you and i'll see you soon now let's go into a time of worship.
boys and girls, it's time now for our memory verse. Beware that you don't look down on any of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels are always in the presence of my heavenly Father. Beware that you don't look down on any of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels are always in the presence of my heavenly Father. And now it is time for our lesson for the week. The Parable of the Lost Sheep Let's all sit and listen to a story Jesus told. Everyone gather round, girl, boy, young and old. A man had 100 sheep, but one could not be found. So the man left his flock of sheep to look all around. He finally found the sheep who had been lost and alone. Hey, he picked up the sheep and carried it all the way home. After getting back, he called everyone over to see. Oh, everyone, come here, come here. He said, I have found my lost sheep. Celebrate with me. Jesus said that in heaven there is a party and everybody has lots of fun. When even one person believes in God, we celebrate each and every one. Welcome back, boys and girls. How did you find the story? How did you find that lesson? Did you learn something from it? Did it bless you? I'm going to answer those two questions. It blessed me and I learned a lot from it. So the story is actually taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 15. So this is the Old Test uh, New Testament book of the Bible. And this lesson, you know, I mean, if you go to that uh, chapter of the Bible and you read, you will see Jesus was actually in the midst of sinners and tax collectors you know, people that were not worthy of the presence of God. But yet, Jesus, you know, find the joy to teach in the midst of these people. You will see Jesus always creating time to stay and teach, you know, uh, people that gathers. Because when they see Jesus or when they know that Jesus is in a place, a lot of people always go there. And Jesus always, you know, take out time to teach them. And as it was in the midst of these people, the Pharisees, you know, they were standing somewhere around and they were, you know, muttering. They were just saying to themselves, oh, look at this man. He find himself, you, will, you know, he find himself in the midst of uh, sinners. He's always with sinners. He's always with uh, people, you know, that are not worthy because they believe that they were the worthy ones. You see? But God, you know, in Jesus, in, in, he's, he's just, he doesn't see that. Jesus see that he has come for the sinners. And this is why he told this parable. And he said, you know, a shepherd that has hundred sheep actually lost one. And that shepherd left the flock of 99 to go look for that one. You see, this gave me so much joy so much assurance that if i ever lose my way god is gonna come find me this gives me so much hope and so much faith that it doesn't matter how lost i am jesus is going to come find me so boys and girls this shows me the love of god does this assure you of god's love it gives me so much assurance that he will leave everything else and he will come find me. So that's how special you are, boys and girls. God will come look for you. You know, when you are growing and you get to some, maybe secondary school and you get to an institution, you know, and when you, your parents sometimes might not be there. But you see, God is always going to be with you, boys and girls. Just make sure that you don't ever lose the love of God. 
don't you ever get to a place in your life where you think God does not love you anymore? You know, he loves you so much. And this is a parable that actually, you know, just actually teach all of us that God's love does not, you know, leave anyone. Remember the song that says, you know, when I was lost, he came looking for me. That if I, he would break down every wall, he would climb the mountains in order to find me. Boys and girls, this is God's love. God loves you, boys and girls. He loves you so much. And I hope you've learned this from this lesson. God bless you, boys and girls. I cannot wait to see you in church for your gift. I cannot wait to see you, to give you your gift. I mean, the boys and girls that will do their own work. God bless you, boys and girls. See you next time. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're doing very well. So, today our quiz is from the parable of the lost sheep. And this parable is found in the Bible. And the verse is at Luke chapter 15, verse 3 to 7. Luke chapter 15, verse 3 to 7. So we're going to start with the questions now. I hope you're all attentive and ready to get them right. Let's go. Number one, who told the parable of the lost sheep? In Luke 15 verse 3, was it A, Peter, B, John, C, Jude, or D, Jesus. The answer is D. Jesus. Number two. When the man found the ship, what did he do? This is in Luke chapter 15 verse 5 to 6. Did he A. Gave him food? B saw the sheep and left see he was annoyed with the sheep or d joyfully carried the sheep home the answer is d he joyfully carried the sheep home number three how many sheep does the man have luke chapter 15 verse 4 has the answer was it A, 10, B, 1, C, 100, or D, 99? The answer is C, 100. Number four, how many sheep were lost? How many? This was in Luke chapter 15, verse 4. A, 99, B, 2, C, 1, or D, 100. If you answered C, 1, you're correct. And the last question for the quiz today is number 5. How many sheep did the man leave to look for the last one. How many sheep did the man leave to look for the last one? And this answer is in Luke chapter 15 verse 4. A. 77 B. 88 C. 100 or D. 99 If you answered D. 99 you are correct all right well done so far now it's time for the homework as always when you have assignments this is the basic information the first correct answer gets a gift in church so ask your parents to use the email church address which is kids zone at solidrockdublin.org 
they should email your answers to kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. Right, so here are the questions for the homework. Number one, what did the man do when he realised he had lost one sheep? This can be found in Luke 15 verse 4. A. He cried. B. He went searching for the lost sheep. C. He called his friends. Or D. He rejoiced. The next question is number seven. Why did he call his friends when he found his lost sheep? Luke 15 verse 6 has the answer. Was it A, to kill the sheep? B, to cry with him? C, to rejoice and celebrate with him? Or D, to play and have fun? Number three. What happens in heaven when a sinner repents and believes in Jesus? The answer is in Luke 15 verse 7. A, nothing. B, sadness. C, complaints. D, rejoicing and celebration. Number four. What did the man do to the rest of the 99 sheep to go searching for the lost one? The answer is in Luke 15 verse 4. A, he left them to look for the lost one. B, he took them along to look for the lost one. C, he stayed with them and didn't bother to look for the lost one. Or D, he didn't do anything to them. And the last question for the homework is, what happened to the man when he found his lost sheep? The answer is in Luke 15 verse 6. A, he rejoiced. B, he celebrated. C, he called his friends. Or D, all of the above. Once again, make sure you put in your answers into an email and send it to the email of church, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. All right, have a lovely day. my covenant with you.
do something like view that ah, like that's so gone. Gone. he's all knowing that means he knows everything. he went he knows ahead everything he knows tomorrow and all right like i'm, I'm so telling silly you, like you're, you're so silly now like you're so such guess a, what you know you're just obeyed sweet. all the same right so and never you feel pressured to do the wrong thing never feel like you have to follow others never feel